What's up, guys? It's Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down how wide receivers can learn a rocker step. So we're going to be talking about when to use a rocker step, the routes you guys can use it, and then the different situations to use this specific move, okay? So I hope this video helps you guys out. If you guys have any kind of feedback or any kind of skills that you guys would like to learn through our breakdowns or any videos you guys would like to see, don't hesitate to leave those suggestions in the comment section below. We always appreciate the feedback, and it is always great to hear from you guys, okay? So now, first things first with this rocker step, there's really four routes that I like this rocker step on. I like it on a corner route, a post route, a 10 yard out, and then a 10 yard dig or 10 to 12 yard dig, any kind of dig that's maybe 12 to 10 to 15 yards, right? So that's the only time that I like those steps. I don't like it on a five yard out. I don't like it on a five yard in because simply those are just too close of routes to really be able to sell this move effectively, right? So this route we're looking at here is going to be a corner. Now we could use this rocker step. We could use it in zone, off man, or press man. But when I'm going to use the rocker step in press man, it comes when I restack and get back over the top of the DB. I don't want to use it in any other situation except maybe when I'm restacked maybe he's trailing my hip a little bit but I have to be over the top of him so we're looking at a corner route right here so let's watch it full speed then we'll break it down so the rocker step is two steps at the top of the route that sell an inside breaking move so it's a double move it's essentially where you step with the side that you are going first and then you throw an inside move to the back back inside or you throw a move back to the inside so it's a one two at the top for those of you that did not know now again we are trying to sell with this double move what do you think is the whole reason we're doing this is because we're trying to sell the opposite of what we're doing. We're trying to sell in this case, he's running a corner route where you're trying to sell a post. If I was doing this on a dig route, I'd be trying to sell an out route. I would, you're trying to sell whatever that route that you're trying to set up off of the single speed cut to the outside. But the main thing that doesn't confuse receivers is you want to step to the side that you are breaking first. So if you know you have to run an out route and you are on the right side, you know that you are stepping with your right foot first. If you got to run a post route and you want to work a rocker step, you know you are stepping stepping with your left foot first if you're on the right side. So that's how you guys don't get confused. Now, the mechanics of the step here is what so many wide receivers do is they'll get up to this rocker step and they'll just take one hard step with the inside foot. They don't do a one-two. They just take one hard step. And quite frankly, that is not going to be enough to sell the route against a disciplined DB. We have to give him a two-step break because that two-step break is what sets him up and makes him think post, makes him think dig or whatever the situation might be, right? So now, when we actually do that, when we actually make the move this step, this first step has to be so sudden. It has to be explosive. But to sell to the second step, you have to make sure we are pushing off of the arch of your foot. You want to strike the ground, not on your heels, not on your tippy toes, on the middle of the foot. And you are pushing off of that foot to throw your momentum to the inside. Because again, what's a disciplined DB supposed to be watching? He's supposed to be watching your hips, supposed to be reading that body language. So when you can push off of that step, commit your hips, commit your shoulders, and then just catch yourself essentially with the inside move on that one, two, that's what gets him to jump. Now you obviously can't think about all this stuff when you're running this route in a live game situation, but you can actually think about doing the rocker step. This is just what you should build on in the offseason when you're trying to improve these skills. So when you do this route specifically, you guys got to make sure that we are doing it when we restack. Now, does it always have to be an outside release? No, it could be an inside release, right? Like let's say this DB's outside shade. You set him up outside, take the inside release, work to restack, hit him with the rocker step and go run the corner. You can hit him with a rocker step the opposite way. Maybe we restack, hit him with an inside move first, then back to the outside. It can depend, but you got to make sure that we restack when it is man coverage. Now, we're going to play this full speed, then we're going to get into a situation and how you would use a rocker step against off man coverage and be able to create some separation, okay? So now, this clip here from Thayer Thomas, we got inside shade, off man coverage, and we are going to be running a dig route, okay? But before we break this down, fellas, I want to talk to you about a great opportunity you guys can do this offseason to improve your route running skills in only 10 days. Check out that very first link in the description, fellas. We have a new 10-day training schedule on our website on how you can improve your route running in 10 days. So it's a two week long schedule, five days of training each week, two days rest. And we break down every single on field drill in video format that you guys should be doing. It's a 45 minute long video fellas with all the drills that wide receivers can do to improve their route running in 10 days. We cover everything from sticks at the top of the route, snapping down, rocker steps, double moves, square cuts, everything that you can think of to help yourself become a better route runner. Every single drill is broken down with sets and reps. And I give a video explanation of each drill. So check out that very first link in the description, fellas, if you guys want to improve your route running in only 10 days. Let's get back to this video. So now, this this clip right here, he's going to be running a dig route against inside shade off man coverage. So why does the rocker step work right here, right? So inside shade, you got to run a dig. So many people think that it's just about attacking the leverage of the DB, right? But that DB's lined up inside shade for a reason. He's lined up inside shade because he is trying to force you to the outside, right? So if you just stem him and think that that's going to be a 
enough and you could just run in front of him, it's not going to work because as soon as you stem him, he's going to keep his leverage. And when he keeps his leverage, you're going to end up running right into him. So you got to make sure that we threaten where? We want to threaten to where he doesn't have any help because that's what gets him to jump and I could slip back underneath. So a rocker step is a great move to do that. So it's watch Thayer Thomas right here. He comes off, gives that one, two, gets that DB to jump and then is able to catch, catch this ball with a ton of separation, at least three yards, right? So now let's talk about it, right? So when he strikes the ground, let's break it down from the mechanic standpoint, just so you guys could see, striking the ground on the arch and you see how he's pushing, right? You see how he's pushing it in the next cut. And you see how his hips, his shoulders, his eyes, everything is committed to the outside. Everything about this right now looks like an out route. Everything about this looks like he just ran at the inside shoulder or the outside shoulder and is going to run this outbreak, but he catches himself. Essentially, that's what you want to do with the second step. It's one, then two. You catch yourself and the weight stays shifted to the inside part of your foot so we could drive and get some explosion. Don't strike on the inside arch, but you want to strike the ground on the arch, push off of the inside arch. But again, this rocker step works because we got to threaten this DB to the outside to get those hips to turn. I got to run a dig. I need to get his hips to commit when it's off man coverage. And that rocker step is a great move to do that to get that DB to jump. Again, we talk a lot about situations, fellas. A lot of guys know how to do the move. They know how to do the rocker step. They know how to do all the footwork, but they don't know when to apply it. Then a lot of people know what to actually do against the coverage, but they don't know what moves will work. You've got to be have a combination of both. That's why it's so important to get in the film room and study and also get on the field and do those on-field drills that you know we should do. Let's watch the thing again, full speed. So again, rocker step, fellas. I only like it on a dig, an out route, a post route, and a corner route, and we can use it against press man, off man, or zone coverage. All right, fellas, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have got any questions, please don't hesitate to leave those in the comment section below. We'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Always appreciate the feedback from you guys. Helps keep the channel going, so I 100% appreciate it. And again, fellas, if you would like to improve your route running in 10 days, check out that very first link in the description below. We'd love to get you on our 10-day wide receiver route running training schedule. I'll see you guys next time.